the M5 MacBook Pro is set to be a game changer in the world of Apple laptops. While the excitement is building around the M5 series, including the M5 MacBook Pro, we need to take a step back and assess whether it's really worth the wait. In this in-depth analysis, we'll discuss the expected features of the M5 MacBook Pro, the potential impact of the new tariffs imposed by former President Donald Trump, and why you might be better off buying the current M4 models instead. If you're looking to get the best value for your money and not pay through the nose for a new MacBook, you might want to reconsider waiting for the M5. Let's explore everything you need to know. What's new with the M5 MacBook Pro? Apple has continuously pushed the envelope with their MacBook Pro lineup, and the M5 series will be no different. But what exactly can we expect from the M5 MacBook Pro? Here's a breakdown of the anticipated features and what makes the M5 so exciting. Wi-Fi 7 support, the future of wireless connectivity. One of the biggest upgrades expected with the M5 MacBook Pro is Wi-Fi 7. This new standard is a major leap forward in wireless technology. Unlike Wi-Fi 6, which offers a significant improvement over Wi-Fi 5, Wi-Fi 7 takes it a step further by enabling devices to connect to all three frequency bands simultaneously. This allows for automatic switching between bands to ensure the fastest and most stable connection possible. Wi-Fi 7 also introduces higher bandwidth for more efficient data transfer, which means your MacBook Pro will be able to handle demanding tasks, like 4K streaming or video editing, with ease. For users who rely on fast internet speeds and reliable connections, this is a major upgrade. M5 Series Chips Apple Silicon continues to evolve. The M5 MacBook Pro will be powered by the new M5 chips, which are expected to be faster and more efficient than the previous generation. The M5 lineup will include M5, M5 Pro, M5 Max. Each version will cater to different user needs, with the M5 Max being the powerhouse, ideal for professionals who demand the best performance in terms of both CPU and GPU. One thing to note, however, is that Apple is not expected to incorporate two nanometers, Gaffet technology in the M5 chips. While the move to two nanometers is anticipated in future versions, Apple will implement a new chip design architecture in the M5 to keep things evolving. This involves separating the CPU and GPU into distinct chiplets, which will be a major step toward reducing power consumption, improving thermal efficiency, and optimizing yields for TSMC, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company. Although the M5 chips won't be using the most advanced 2 nanometers technology, the change in design methodology will still result in significant improvements in performance and energy efficiency. This is particularly beneficial for MacBook Pro users who need maximum power without sacrificing battery life. Thermal efficiency and power gains with new chip design. Apple's new chip design approach, separating the CPU and GPU chiplets, is an interesting innovation. This design will help improve thermal management by reducing the heat generated when the chips are packed together on a single die. By spacing out the chiplets, Apple can achieve better cooling and overall system stability. In addition to this, the new chip design will reduce electrical power loss, leading to better energy efficiency. This means that the M5 MacBook Pro will be more efficient than its predecessors, enabling users to work longer without constantly plugging in their charger. Potential performance improvements. While the M5 MacBook Pro will feature new chip architecture, there's still one factor that will limit performance, the lack of a two nanometers process. That said, even without the two nanometers technology, Apple will still deliver strong performance upgrades with better power efficiency, faster processing, and more robust graphics capabilities in the M5 Pro and M5 Max models. For many users, these improvements will be more than enough to meet their needs for the foreseeable future. Trump's tariffs, how they impact the price of the M5 MacBook Pro. Before rushing to buy the new M5 MacBook Pro, let's consider an important factor that could impact the price, Trump's tariffs. In recent years, former President Donald Trump imposed hefty tariffs on goods imported from China, and those tariffs are likely to have a lasting effect on the price of tech products, including Apple's MacBook lineup. The new tariffs, which affect imports from China, Vietnam, and Malaysia, could lead to increased manufacturing costs for Apple. These added costs will likely be passed down to the consumer, resulting in higher prices for the M5 MacBook Pro compared to its predecessor. The specific tariffs imposed are 54% on China, 
46% on Vietnam, 24% on Malaysia. Apple uses these countries to manufacture various components of its products, including MacBook Pro parts. With tariffs in place, Apple may be forced to raise the prices of the M5 MacBook Pro to maintain its profit margins. If you're thinking about waiting for the new M5 model, it might be wise to factor in the potential for higher prices due to these tariffs. Why you should buy the M4 MacBook Pro right now. Given the potential for higher prices and the lack of major upgrades in the M5 MacBook Pro, it might actually be better to buy the M4 MacBook Pro right now. Here's why. 1. The M4 MacBook Pro is a performance beast. The M4 MacBook Pro has proven itself as a powerhouse, even beating the M2 Ultra Mac Pro in terms of multi-core performance. If you're looking for top-tier performance in a 14-inch laptop, the M4 MacBook Pro is a great choice. It boasts impressive CPU performance, with the single-core performance outpacing Intel and AMD's best chips. Whether you're into video editing, software development, or gaming, the M4 MacBook Pro delivers on every front. 2. The M4 MacBook Air offers unbeatable value. The M4 MacBook Air is arguably one of the best value laptops on the market today. It's fast, light, and powerful, with the M4 chip outperforming the previous M3 Pro chip. For just $999, or even $950 on Amazon, you can get a MacBook that rivals higher-end machines in terms of performance, all while being incredibly portable. 3. Lock in current prices before tariffs hit. With Trump's tariffs still affecting the cost of goods, including those made in China, Vietnam, and Malaysia, buying an M4 MacBook Pro now locks in the current price. If you wait for the M5 models, you could face price hikes, especially as Apple may need to adjust its prices to offset the tariff costs. By purchasing an M4 MacBook Pro today, you avoid the risk of price increases and ensure you're getting an excellent deal. What about the 2026 MacBook Pro? Looking further into the future, there's the potential for a massive redesign in the 2026 MacBook Pro. Rumored features include thinner design with better battery life, OLED displays for an unmatched viewing experience, custom Wi-Fi and Bluetooth chips, potential inclusion of Face ID. While these features sound tempting, 2026 is still a long way off, and it might be years before we see these upgrades in a MacBook Pro. If you're someone who values cutting-edge design and display technology, waiting for the 2026 model could be a better choice. But for now, the M4 series offers excellent value, and the M5 series may not justify the wait, especially with the added cost of tariffs.